Hello, my name is Robert Leger, and I'd like to, uh, today is October the 3rd, 2009, and I'd like to introduce you to our new, uh, my new tool that I had designed to remove the um, inner bearing of a 5-speed Harley-Davidson transmission. The tool part number will be called Savior Tool HD 8726. The unique feature of our tool is we'll be able to do three things. We'll be able to re remove the bearing, reinstall the bearing, and remove the bearing when the bearing is pushed too far forward, where you can't claw behind. And we're also thinking about modifying the housing so that it could remove the, the uh, sprocket nut at the same time. So basically, it's... Uh, you would install it just like you would any other tool. You, um, you just hook it, uh, hook it here onto the shaft. It's counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Hope you can see that here, and this will be in two meshes. It, uh, and the nice feature here is when uh, when you install the tool, we'll have a preset. Will be preset to a hundred thou. So because there's this is the tolerance here is supposed to be a hundred thou, uh, recommended by Harley Davidson. So when you push the bearing in, you'll automatically get the 100 tau clearance that you need. You just, you just put these two halves on, hold this on lay, and you will put this part here just to cover it, and then you'll just turn your nut and you'll, it'll pull the bearing out. Now, <clears throat> when you put it back in, it'll be the same way. It'll butt against this, this housing here and um, this gear and that will give you your 100 thou clearance. Now, in the event that your bearing is pushed too far forward, uh, you will be using this tool here, it's similar to the other one, this claw is the same way. You will be putting it over the, uh, the bearing here, and you will grind a small groove here to, to uh, attach a uh, retainer ring. This retainer ring will be fitting in this groove, and the retainer will shoulder against the tool. So when you put it on here, it'll shoulder against the tool, and it'll be the same way. You just uh, clamp it together and use your outer thing and uh, your outer housing and pull the bearing out. We feel that this tool will save time and it'll work much better than the other tool. The other tool is clamp and you don't have quite a, a, a straight pull. And the problem with when the bearing is pushed too far forward, what uh, mechanics are doing is they're grinding the bearing and hitting it with a chisel. Or they're welding uh, a, a bead on here and they're welding a bead or a washer uh, but that's not a good idea either because uh, the um, electricity will will make the uh, will will arc the uh, gears and the bearing it'll burn all the bearings and that's not a good idea either. The other method is to uh, loosen this nut on the other side and push the uh, the shaft down so it'll clear. Uh, but then you'll have to remove the exhaust pipe. And you know you're 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 actually it's a press fit, so you're you're really pulling on the nut to push it back into its position, and that is not a, a good idea too, I think. So I feel that this will be a great tool for the mechanic. It's not going to be a ten dollar tool, but good quality tools don't come cheap. But it'll be well worth it. It'll save you time. And it'll last for a long time. And we hope that uh, this tool will be beneficial to uh, professional mechanics. And, um, and we feel that uh, it's an absolute great tool. 
Thank you very much. <clears throat> Bye for now.